Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Then you do favor the Templars, Your Grace. I favor peace, which is not the goal of either side, I'm afraid. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will. I can't imagine any way this will go wrong. What would you have of us? The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. I don't want to see the Divine's armies march against Kirkwall. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the Exalted Marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the Faith. What can you tell me about this Servant of the Divine? I was not told her real name. Only to call her Sister Nightingale. She is said to be the Divine's left hand. Sent to do work that might blacken the Divine's name. What argument would convince her? The Divine has heard my protests already. I must trust your own powers of persuasion now. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canari incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. Terrible things do happen, Sebastian. But what we see is only a piece of the puzzle. Only the Maker can see the greater picture. The guilty prosper, innocents die. And then they are brought to the side of the Maker. Their suffering ends. There is always a greater purpose. Daenerys once killed a little boy to fuel blood magic that let him impress his fellow senators at a party. What was the purpose there? Perhaps it was witnessing that which will give you the strength to prevent it ever happening again.
Hello again, champion. The Viscount's throne room has been sealed off Hello since again, his champion. death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. Need a hand. And with that, I'm done. Even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the spy! The Resolutionists. I might have known they would be part of this. Are you Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Liliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here in Kirkwall. Without informing the guards, of course. This is an unconventional situation. I have some experience with those. The Leliana, who accompanied the hero of Ferelden to slay the Archdemon. Ah, I see it will be harder to remain anonymous so near the Ferelden border. Yes, I knew the hero of Ferelden. Perhaps you have heard the songs I wrote of our time together. But that was many years ago. I am working for the Divine now. In Orlais. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. Who were the Resolutionists? An offshoot of a fraternity within the Circle of Magi. Supported by the Magisters. There's no proof of that. I bet a lot of mages think they'd enjoy Tevinter's freedoms. 
and completely forget that few ever achieve the power to enjoy them. There have always been factions that support freedom from the Chantry, and the abolition of the Circle. We have tolerated them, but the Resolutionists have become violent. They are likely behind the unrest here. I appreciate you stepping in back there. Of course. They mistook you for me, so they must know I am in Kirkwall. The Divine has long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react which condemns them. Please, don't do anything dire. We still have a chance for peace. And provocations don't help. Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates? How can that possibly... <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orlais. She will not be safe here. These mages are out of control. Of leadership in Kirkwall, such as it is. Oh, there's been so much trouble in Kirkwall of late. All quiet around here, Cody. Good. Carry on. I 
understand you're named after a famous knight. Everyone always brings up the name. I've not heard of Sir Aveline. Is she very famous? Really? They don't tell of her glorious downfall into winter? Not to slaves. Pardon me for saying so, but thank the Maker for that. Sister Nightingale says you must leave Kirkwall. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the Sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I am surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. Are you saying you will not flee? When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. Sister Nightingale took a great risk to warn you. Don't be rash. Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Sink of the chance, so it may reach his ear. If Elthina won't leave Kirkwall, neither will I. I can't abandon her when the Divine's own agent warned her away. The Grand Cleric is lucky to have your loyalty. She'd be luckier were I willing to hit her over the head and carry her away. This isn't her battle. But if these Maleficarum rebel against the Knight Commander, Elthina will put herself between them and be torn apart. I must try to make her see reason. This cannot end well. Hawk should do it. Kirkwall needs a Viscount. Have you asked him? It would be Hawk's decision. I watched my appearance in Starkhaven. When times are good, the city rules itself. Years could pass and no one would notice who's prince. But when there's famine, when there's war, People look to their leaders. Who does Kirkwall have beyond Hawk? This is probably a conversation for the two of you to have. You want me to be Viscount? Andraste said the Maker is king in the heavens. But it is the kings of Thetis who must recreate his worldly glory. I keep thinking about that. Who better serves the Maker? A brother of the faith? Or a prince who can sway a whole city. Every person does the Maker's work in their own way. Elthina is risking her life by not deserting her flock. Could I do the same? It's been 15 years since I lived in Starkhaven. The people there are only a memory to me. Kirkwall, the Chantry, that's real. That's where I belong. You're a man of faith, Sebastian. You would have hated politics. You're probably right. 
Bootlicking nobles and bickering farmers, I'd have sent the whole lot to do penance. I do appreciate you hearing me out. You've been a good friend, Hawk. I will stay, as much for you as for her grace. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the wind. 